it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up today with a video for day nine of our Scrap Timber series and it, today's prompt is diagonal design. So obviously Laura Alberts is here today as well. She is doing a layout every day in the month of September for Scrap Timber. We've got a super fun exciting series and we're, we're nine days in which is awesome. We have two awesome special guests joining us today sorry two on youtube and one on instagram as well so we've got moira o'reilly and crafty maggie joining us today uh, for this diagonal design prompt and they're both on youtube and then on instagram we've got karina so everybody will be linked in the description box down below so definitely go and check them out now as I said, diagonal design. So I am using, surprise, surprise, the Whimsical Collection from Paige Evans. I know you're sick of seeing it, but I'm sorry, but I am determined. <laughs> I am determined to use it. I've got a few more 12 by 12 pieces left, so I'm getting there. So I have picked this 12 by 12 pattern paper that has all the kind of the words on it as my background. I have cut it in half. Uh, and I did that off camera because I don't have a trimmer big enough. So I actually had to get my ruler out and, and then I cut it by hand. So that's how I did my diagonal design. I have got this cute photo of my son and I, and it's a selfie and we're actually in front of the computer and we're watching a video of my band playing. He wasn't that interested, I'll be honest, but that's okay. We were still watching. It was actually a live stream that was done. I think this was around Easter um, instead of our, which is normally when we have our national band championships, but they were cancelled this year because, you know, COVID. Uh, and so they did a live stream instead of lots of different performances over many years. So pretty sure we were watching that. Um, now, for my diagonal design, I have decided to use a whole heap of fussy cut florals from the Paige Evans Whimsical Collection. Uh, and so I'm pretty much just using all of these florals on this layout. Not pretty much. I am. There are a few. Oh, no, I think I use everything. I do. Uh, so I am just kind of laying them out, trying to figure out how I can get them to nicely sort of fit along the diagonal. Um as Laura Alberts would say, it's a floral explosion. I know I've done a few of those lately, um, mainly because I've had a lot of florals from Paige Evans. She does a lot of florals and great florals that you can fussy cut. And I know Laura is a massive fan of fussy cutting as well. So I think she'll be pleased that I have really embraced my inner lover of fussy cutting. <laughs> and so I'm just, yeah, doing my floral explosion, layering them all up trying to see how I can make them work. I'm just trimming off one of the leaves on this particular piece because um, it wasn't really working for me where it was, but I will put it somewhere else. Uh, but that's what I was doing there, just trimming that down. Or is that what I'm doing now maybe? Oh gosh, I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I trimmed two leaves off, um, but I definitely was trimming off a leaf just then. Uh, and then I am still layering up the leaves though. I'm just trying to kind of spread them out a bit so that they look like you know, they're in a nice order and um, the, the blue of the leaves are kind of spread out. And then I had these other leaves here as well. Um, and they are just, again, being tucked in and around just to kind of spread out where, where my clusters are and just to keep that diagonal design going. Uh, and I've, I've gone diagonal from the top left to the bottom right. Don't ask me why. I could have done it the other way, but I didn't. I think this way just, I don't know, for my eye... It just, it just works better for me. Now, I didn't make you watch me stick everything down because I stayed in the same the same configuration that I had done when I laid them all out. I stuck some down flat, but I did pop a couple up, particularly kind of around my photo um, because I tucked some of the florals over top of my photo. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm really happy with it. Now, these are my thickers that I'm trying to use up. <laughs> So I made a title work with um, the words that I had left on this thicker sheet. So I had the word dream and I decided to use that in my title. So I'm just pulling out some other thickers, I'm pretty sure. I should have edited this part out, but it was a very quick video. So uh, I think I decided to leave all of this part in for you so that um, the video is not too short but also isn't too long but this process was quite easy it, it was a quite an easy design to bring together um, so I decided to to make a title with this word dream so I'm popping the word dream down and I do tuck the d and the r a little bit under the floral so it does look a little bit unusual but I, I didn't the, this floral was popped up and I didn't want to 
kind of have it on top of the floral. So I've done that. And then I come back in with the title. My title is A Mum Can Dream. <laughs> now, I was being a bit cheeky. Um, since I've had Lincoln, I haven't been able to do as much playing as I might necessarily like. But, you know, that that's the choice you make when you have a family. And so this is just kind of me being a bit facetious and, <laughs> and saying, I can dream that I will eventually get back to playing in the band. And also, obviously, we're not playing at the moment anyway because of COVID. So um, even though Link's a bit older, he's no longer um, feeding from me. So I am able to leave him with others. Um, I could go to band practice, but then COVID happened and we have no band practice. <laughs> so, you know. A Mum Can Dream seemed a suitable title and I will do some journaling um, to kind of explain, I suppose, my title. Um, but I do my journaling off camera. I just, I don't like the pressure of having to do my journaling on camera. It kind of throws me a little bit. <laughs> um, so I'm just adding in some little bits of extra cut up uh, thicker into the V's to make them into A's. I was going to actually leave them because to be honest, if you see an upside down V, you know it's supposed to be an A and that's your eyes read that anyway in the title. But I do think the little extra bits of thicker, it does make a difference. So I did add them. So that's my title. Now I come in with some enamel dots of all things, which I haven't used for ages, but I do have a bit of a stash here and I would like to use them up before they lose their stick. So I want to add them to my layouts while I can. And so I'm just scattering those. I technically put them in four places because, you know, why not? <laughs> I do have three, uh, three sorry, enamel dots per cluster, but I do have four of them. I just, that just worked better with my diagonal design. Now, I'm super excited to see what Crafty Maggie and Moira and Karina all come up with for their diagonal designs. So definitely go and check out their videos. Their channels will be linked down below and Karina's Instagram will be linked down below. Definitely go and check them out. If you want to come and join us, we have a Scrap Timber Facebook group. Um, Laura... Natalie and Miranda started this Facebook group quite a few years ago for their Scrap Timber series. But because Laura and us have joined forces this year, we're also um, playing along in that group as well. So definitely come and join us if you like. I will have that link down below as well so you can come and hang out. Um, and all the prompts will be there and we'll have albums if you want to share layouts that you've made. Feel free to share your videos if you're on YouTube. Um, you know, just, just come and hang out and have fun. Uh, so I'm adding some splatters. Now I'm using a Distress Oxide splatter. Don't ask me the colour. It's probably worn lipstick, um, I think. Maybe I did two separate colours. It's possible. I wish I remembered, but I don't. <laughs> so here's my close-up. Definitely go and check out all the links in the description box down below. I hope you're enjoying our September series so far. And we look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. Jess will be joining you tomorrow. So definitely come along back tomorrow and see us and join us for the whole month. All right, guys, have a lovely day. Bye.